All right, with recreational marijuana officially legalized here in New York State, there are still an awful lot of questions tonight as to what's actually allowed right now and even what this means for employees and employers. To your side, Jackie Roberts looks into this for us. Right now in New York State, adults 21 and older can legally possess up to three ounces of marijuana, but you can't legally sell or grow it until after the retail system is set up. I assure you that the full implementation of this law will be beneficial to all of our communities and quite frankly to the great state of New York. So could this have any impact in the workplace, given several companies still require drug tests, either in the hiring process or during employment? I think drug testing for marijuana is probably going to be done away with. The attorney we spoke to says in New York's law, there are carve outs for people who use recreationally. It reads in conjunction with the labor law that has already existed uh, and makes it pretty particular that you're not allowed to discharge or uh, otherwise discriminate. Uh, in employment or discharge employee in employment for their recreational use uh, off duty and off premises. But if someone is impaired in the workplace, that's a different story. With regard to the law itself, uh, off duty and off premises recreational use of marijuana is legal. Um, you know, if you're at your job and you're under the influence of anything, really, uh, something that's been traditionally legal, such as alcohol or even smoking, I mean, employers can take adverse action, adverse personnel actions as a result of that. But being able to know for certain if someone is impaired may not always be clear. So he says employers should have policies in place as to how to move forward with those types of inquiries. I think there's going to be a lot of issues that come up uh, with regard to testing and uh, employers, you know, suspecting someone is impaired. Um, I think there's going to be issues with regard to how the policies are being revised and implemented. He says looking at how these issues have been handled in other states where marijuana is legal could provide a good framework for people here in New York. Jackie Roberts, Channel 2 News.